I've lived in this area. I've gone to school in this area. I used to go to St. Dominic's Catholic School uh -huh. um, from the ages of six to 10, right, um, which is over on Atchison, um, just off of 20th Street. And, um, and then I've, I've lived in the area off and on back when it was a very vibrant area. Um, most black folk lived in this area and it didn't matter what your occupation was, you lived in this area. So in neighborhoods you had people who were pretty well off, people who were very poor, you had doctors, you had lawyers, you had the, the town drunk. I mean, everybody just lived in one area and everybody looked out for everybody. And there really wasn't a bad spot in this area as far as like talking about ghetto or a downtrodden area. Everybody kept the area up. It was a nice area to live in. Very family oriented. You know, everybody took care of everybody's children. And it didn't matter who you were. The, 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 the street drunk could tell you to get your behind on home because it's getting dark. You know, and you respected them because they were an adult and you did what they told you to do. It was a nice time. Mount Vernon and Long Street were full of businesses. Everything that you needed in order to live was right on Mount Vernon and Long Street. Grocery stores, cleaners, bowling alley, theaters, restaurants. Whatever you needed was right in here because you really couldn't go out into other areas so you really um, had to stay in this area so everything you needed was right here. It was like a, a incubated type situation for the kids. Everybody just watched out for everybody and Mount Vernon was, it was such a fun place to walk down because it was just back-to-back -back businesses. Just every door there was a different type of business all the way down the street, both sides of the street. Same thing with um, Long Street, just back-to-back -back flourishing businesses. It, it was nice, it was safe. It was a wonderful place to grow up in during that period of time. You know, and just growing up in it, you didn't even know how valuable the, the attitude about taking care of each other's children were until you compare it to how today is, you know. During the summer, you could, you could get candy, potato chips, pop. Um, there was a time when there was a, a fast food restaurant called Sandy's on Mount Vernon. You could go there and get a cheeseburger and a milkshake for a quarter. It didn't take any money in order to get food back then. Although at the time, that quarter seemed like a lot of yeah. money compared to today by far. But you could afford to get things back then way more than you can now. It, it just seems like the price of foods and things were more even with what amount of money people had during that time. Whereas now it's a struggle to get little small things for a lot of people. But back then, even if you were poor, you didn't know it. Because everything generally was affordable. This area was very vibrant. And then I think two things happened. The first thing that happened is they built that freeway, I-71, and it cut off this area from downtown. People just couldn't come and go as easily. It became inconvenient to go up and down Long Street, and it cut this area off from the downtown area. And then the other thing that happened was uh, integration. Um, now people who had the um, good jobs and, and money, now they could move out and away from this area. So then what that left 
were just the poor people. You didn't have those positive role models floating around the neighborhood anymore. All you had were the people now who are beginning to scramble and struggle and it just turned into a whole different world.